Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this exciting tutorial, I will show you how you can create this stylized glitch text reveal inside After it. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's create a new comp and I'm going to call this text test holder. Okay, I'm going to go with 2K resolution, 24 frames per second and 6 seconds as the duration. And let's give a 6 second and back background, okay? And hit OK. Now I'm going to add our text. So let's go to here, select the type tool and type your text. I'm using this pixel serif font and I'm going to call this glitch. And let's, let's click Control Road Home and then uh, to center the anchor point and then using the line tool let's align it to the middle of this composition okay now we have this text and this is our text placeholder or you guys can use a logo or as well okay now let's create a new composition uh, for our effect so i'm gonna call this glitch lines okay and then i'm gonna go with exact same setting and hit ok here we will add some stylized glitch lines so i'm gonna go with pen tool and without any fear stroke color and we can change the stroke color so let's keep this color for now also bring our text here make sure right click and set this to guide layer so it won't render any other composition it will keep here okay so i'm gonna select this and press p on my keyboard and let's just reduce the opacity to 20. now let's select the upper pen tool and just hold shift and just create a straight line like this now i'm gonna just increase the stroke width like that and let's also uh, link our color so we can easily change our color later on so i'm gonna create a new uh, null object and i'm gonna call this color now let's search for color control and apply it i'm gonna lock this layer okay now let's go to our first shape i'm gonna call this color line one like so okay open this layer go to stroke and here we can find this color so i'm gonna link this to here okay now we can change this color right here and let's give a maybe yellowish color for this now let's duplicate could just press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm gonna press ctrl o at home and let's place it right here and let's also give a different color i'm gonna go here and ctrl d to duplicate and give a different color for this one let's give a uh, orange color and just like the same i'm gonna open this color uh, layer and then find the stroke and just link this to this orange color like so okay now let's call this line color too okay so it, we can find it easier so i'm going to duplicate this again and let's place it around here and i'm gonna go here and duplicate this and let's give a bluish color this time let's do the same thing over again there you go all right now we have three lines uh, what we can do we can add some variety to these lines so i'm gonna go in this search bar and search for path so we can easily find the path and just i forget that we need to add our animations okay so let's go to press line and i'm gonna select the shape go to add and add a trim path okay and then we can animate this trim path so let's go to here and create a zero second i'm gonna create a new keyframe let's go fifth frame forward uh, six frames forward and then set this to 100 okay i'm gonna select this go to graph editor and just set this like this all right perfect now let's also do the same and I'm going to just offset a little bit. Okay, now we can get this speed line. Yeah, I think this looks good. Now let's go to end of this, then just press Ctrl, left bracket, like so. All right, perfect. If you think it's a bit slower, you can just drag here, holding Alt on your keyboard. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, looks good. Now let's select this trim part and go to other layers. Go to select shape and press Ctrl B. Let's do the same. I should have done this earlier, so that's okay. 
I'm gonna press hold left bracket again now let's select this and copy and I'm gonna go to color line 3 go to shape line shape 1 and then press ctrl V to paste it okay and let's do the same thing hold and left bracket like so and there you go we have three layers now three animated layers now what we can do we can add some variety so I'm gonna just duplicate this one and let's set the stroke with lower like so and also go to search bar and search for path and like so we can add some different variety like this i will keep doing this until i fill this comp okay i will i will speed this up to save some time and yeah okay perfect that should be enough and uh, i'm gonna press ctrl a to select all and just close this up okay now that's perfect now we need to add some uh, offset so i'm gonna just randomly add some offset to these layers like that something like this let's check this out okay okay looks pretty cool you can also just duplicate this one ctrl d bring it here let's add some different uh, label color so we can recognize it easier and then select all this press alt ctrl o uh, to reset all this anchor point and then just place this in a different position to give that random feel okay and uh, yeah this is the little bit hardest part i mean uh, you have to go through one by one and yeah right you can also press path like that and then just shorten this up you can also just play with the uh, size of these layers as you can see just randomly do anything you want okay and that's how we create glitch effect and there are no uh, rules just go there and just play with these uh, lines something like this looks pretty cool now i'm gonna also just give some random uh placement like so okay let's quickly do this mm, yeah there you go let's check this out perfect now i think we have this nice looking glitch lines now let's go with add some uh, animation to the, our glitch text so we need to create our final composition uh, as you can see you can just change your colors here and it will change all the colors at the same time and yeah it's a bit flexible you don't have to go one by one anymore so let's go to project panel and create a new composition so i'm going to call this final comp same setting hit ok now let's drag it here drag and drop your text composition i'm gonna go to four second and then press in now let's also drag our glitch line so just drag it right here okay now if you check this boom we have this animation but it's not that interesting because we need to add some glitch to the text so let's also go to text just add a fill effect so i'm gonna add fill and then let's pick with any color like this maybe bluish is good yeah okay perfect we need to add some uh, glitch to the text so i'm gonna create a new mask select this layer and then go to here it's rectangle tool and then just drag a mask like this okay now i'm gonna let it go select this layer ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm gonna go to search bar and search for path okay now select this path and then shift select this selection tool and then let's drag it right here i will do the same so select this ctrl d to duplicate and then search for path select this path and then shift click and then just hold it like this and break it like that okay now let's just fill this text like so so i'm gonna get ctrl d search for path select this path again select this and just drag it like this 
you if you want a small part you can separate this uh, once but i don't want to do that it will take a lot of time so i want to keep this simple okay so i'm gonna set a control d and let's do the same i will speed this up to save a little bit time we have all the separated text so i'm gonna press ctrl a close this up okay now let's give a different label so we can recognize it easier now press ctrl alt home on a keyboard to reset the anchor point and now create a new keyframe for this position keyframe in the 2 frame and let's give some random position like so okay we will convert this to whole keyframe at the end okay for now let's just keep it like that just play with this position okay it seems complex but as you can see it's really easy Now I'm gonna select this all the keyframe and then I press Ctrl or just click. Okay, now we have this animation. As you can see, if you think it's a bit uh, slow, you can just select this keyframe and just hold Alt and just just drag it like so. So it will speed up. All right. I'm also gonna just add some offset this uh, offset to these separate parts. Okay, and let's see. This is pretty cool. And there you go. That's how you can create this uh, nice looking stylus creature effect. You can add some random position as you can see like this in this area. Uh, but I will leave it up to you. Okay. And I just want to show you how to get this stylus reveal. And you can go to text placeholder and change your text here. And add your logo. But you have to go here and just uh, change according to your logo size. Let me add a background. And I'm going to pull this EG. Drag it up here. Uh, Drag it down. I'm gonna add a noise. So search for noise at generalist. Bring the likeness. Okay. Give a little noise. If you don't like noise, you can just disable this layer. And that's basically it. Let me go two seconds and then press N. Let's check this out. There we go. It's really easy to create this uh, stylized glitch effect. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any question, please let me know. Please don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you like my tutorial. And as always, thank you so much for all my Patreon supporters. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.